I know that some of you guys might get annoyed at me for this video, but I feel that it is important. So, I was raised in a pretty conservative home. And um, growing up, I was always taught to be modest in what I wear. So, I heard it said that dressing modestly um, is showing your dignity as a child of God. Reve revealing it's dressing with dignity basically so also you know you want to think like what would Jesus have me wear would and um am I you know gonna um cause someone to um think impure thoughts why am I dressing the way I am and, you know, not everyone dresses in modestly for the wrong reasons, but I do believe some people do. But, you know, I think um, modest dress is encouraged by the Bible. And, um, you know, we live in a highly sexualized culture that sexualizes women's bodies. So I think modesty is a good way to push back against that and bring back um purity and holiness and how we dress so um there are certain things i think that people shouldn't wear i don't think people should wear crop tops and show their midriff or wear very short shorts or um i also i don't think people should uh, wear a lot of cleavage or, um, what's it called? Um, really short skirts or, um, anything that doesn't make you feel like you're, um, properly, like, dressing in a way a christian should and modesty doesn't only apply for women it applies to men too like maybe an out uh outfit where you know you're showing a lot of chest hair or if you're not wearing your shirt outside a lot or if um you there is ways like for men to be in modest and also the thoughts we think um what we watch on tv all that has an impact on us so i just encourage all the people that watch me to remember um what purity means ask god to give us pure hearts and minds and purify us spiritually um so, um, modesty is not just an outward thing, it's an inward thing that's reflected by how you behave outwardly. And God knows your heart. You can wear perfectly modest clothes, but if you don't have, if you have the wrong intentions in your heart, that doesn't count for anything. But at the same time, you can have the right heart, but um, uh, you might not be showing that outwardly. So I just encourage the men and women that follow me to pray about everything you wear. And for some of you, God is going to ask you not to wear some things that other people might not stumble or with wearing and watching. Or So you have to be careful and um, with how we do. And everything we do, we want to seek God. So um, read the Bible. Pray about everything. Like... Um, you know, I've had times where I wondered if I was dressing modestly and, you know, I think it's something that you have to take to prayer and get God to reveal to you, uh, what the truth about it is and what his will for you is. So, um, I'm thankful my mom raised me to dress modestly, which reveals my dignity as a child 
and a daughter of God. I also think on the subject of dress and dressing modestly, it is wrong for men to wear feminine clothes that are made for women and for women to wear clothes that are not made for women. So, and I know it's hard to accept, but God specifically says that. I'm not saying women can't wear pants. Um, pants have been accepted as part of a woman's wardrobe, but no one, like with the whole transgender agenda, like God says we need to dress as a man or as a woman the way he created us. So, and you know, God sets the standard and he enables us by his Holy Spirit to be able to live by that standard. So I know it's hard to accept, but we need to bring back modesty for men and for women. Modesty at the swimming pool, modesty at home, and modesty out in public. So, yeah. I think the world would be a different place if everyone dressed and acted modestly before God, humbly.